What's up, everybody? So, working on this duo series, and today in the series, we are going to look at duo single sign on. So, I want to start with just a couple of slides here, and then we'll just jump right into uh, getting things configured and set up. So, um, just real quick kind of overview of duo single sign on. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, duo really has two different solutions for single sign on. Do it, this is a the Duo Access Gateway is the on-premise solution uh, that secures access to cloud applications. You know, with with your users' existing credentials, like you know Mac, Microsoft Active Directory or Google G Suite accounts, and um, <clears throat> it uses a uh, SAML 2.0 authentication standards and. Um, you know, basically, SAML delegates authentication from you know a, a service provider to a identity provider, and and um, you know is used for single sign-on solutions. So, so uh, the Duo Access Gateway was Duo's original SAML single sign-on solution, and uh, you know it's it's like I said, it's hosted on-prem, and as you can see. Um, you know here the DAG which you know the dual duo, duo access gateway the DAG <clears throat> there in the middle communicates uh, to Active Directory um, for initial user authentication or pr primary authentication and then communicates to uh, the duo security cloud for multi-factor authentication so this is the one way that duo does single sign-on um, you know the duo access gateway runs um, as a uh, uh, IIS virtual site um, on a Windows Server 2012 or later server, or um, in a Docker container uh, on most uh, modern Linux distributions. So you can run it on Windows or uh, Linux. <clears throat> now, alternatively, Duo you know just recently released a single sign-on uh, solution that's cloud hosted. So you know, hosted SAML 2.0 identity provider or IDP that secures uh, access to cloud applications with your users' existing uh, directory accounts like Active Directory, uh, like we just, just like we just talked about. And if you're not familiar with SAML, you know, it's, it's basically delegating authentication, um, you know, from the service provider to the identity provider and, you know, is used for single sign-on solutions. Um, and, you know, you can see here, um, see that's kind of kind of depicted in the, in the image, the top image. So, um, last, the hosted solution supports Active Directory, on-prem Active Directory or cloud or on-prem SAML IDPs. Now, a prerequisite for supporting the on-prem Active Directory is uh, the Duo Authentication Proxy that you can kind of see there on the bottom image. Um, and, um, you know, this basically just provides uh, the ability for uh, the Duo Single Sign-On to securely talk to your on-prem Active Directory. So, uh, the Duo Single Sign-On, hosted Single Sign-On is available in Duo Beyond, Access, and the MFA plans. So let's go ahead and jump into the dashboard here. I'm in the Duo dashboard here, and, and you can see here, I'm gonna go over here to Single Sign-On. And now we're in Single Sign-On, so um, we're gonna scroll down here, and we're gonna add Active Directory. I'm gonna use that as my Single Sign-On instead of an IDP, and I'm gonna add my um, auth proxy is what I'm going to do, but you can see here I can get some setup I can do there with Active Directory. So I click Add Auth Proxy, and this gives me my um, uh, configuration that I'm going to need to do. Um, so I'm going to pull up Notepad here, and let's get this pulled up. <clears throat> there we go. I'll go ahead and copy. Uh, this SSO section that I'm going to add to my auth proxy config file. Paste it over here. Create a little section here, and I'll for my um, for the uh, script that I need to run um, to uh, connect to the SSO service and restart uh, the auth proxy. So, pasted that in. Now I'm going to save this. Uh, notepad file to the uh, C drive of my auth proxy. Okay. 
give it a you know a name here duo SSO hit save and uh, now I'm over here on my off proxy pull up the uh, SSO file so you need a uh, a service account and password here you can see so um, I'm gonna copy this first though. I'm gonna put it into uh, browse over to my auth proxy config file. So you can see me, the file path here program files, duo security authentication proxy, and then the comp folder. There we go. So I open up the auth proxy file. So I'm gonna paste in this SSO section here. So you can see there in the brackets SSO. And I'm going to put my, uh, my service account that um, I created in Active Directory. I'll put the uh, username and the password. Cover it up here so that uh, keep that a secret. Also covering up the uh, security key up there in my cloud section. And uh, you can see I've got the... Uh, once you put the password in, you can see there in my AD client section, it actually encrypts that password for you. Um, but uh, right now while I'm top typing in, I'll cover that up. We hit save, close and save. Now I'm going to copy the script here. I'm going to open up a command prompt window as administrator. Paste that in here. And this is going to connect to my uh, SSO and uh, then uh, restart the, uh, the authentication proxy. And this can take a few seconds to run. So don't uh, be a little patient. security secret was stored successfully and now it is uh, stopping the service now it's going to restart it there you go restarted successfully so I browse over here, I can run a test, connect, there you go, connected to Duo. And I can uh, return up to my config. So I'm going to type in my... Active Directory display name. And give it the uh, IP uh, IP address of my domain controller. I'm just using the uh, default port here, 389. And for me, I'm just going to do DC equals. My uh, my ASM Labs the DC Com. So let's put in the, the base D in there. And I'm just going to do the uh, integrated authentication type here for my lab. And uh, if you want to do, you know, um, you know do some other form of authentication there with uh, NTLM version 1 or 2 uh, you can do that here and then obviously you've got uh, I'm going to do mine unencrypted um, it's just a lab so uh, no big deal here email attribute as is um, if you wanted to uh, you know 
put in a different email address alias or something like that you could do that here but I'm gonna leave mine as is so this is a duo username attribute so here I'm gonna check this and I'm gonna put in my uh, Sam account um, uh, Sam account name for uh, my my duo username attribute um, and that's uh, so I'm going to use that and then I'm going to do uh, username normalization I'm just going to do simple so it'll get you know domain slash and or username at the domain or just the username um, so I'll leave that as is there and then uh, you can put permitted email domains um, I'm not going to permit any other email, email domains other than um, you know my domain that I use Scroll down here. I've uh, put in my let's see my uh, DNS entry uh, text DNS record for my DNS provider. I use um, GoDaddy for this uh, lab uh, domain uh, ASMLabs.com. So I'm going to go uh, copy this and make this entry in. Uh, GoDaddy's DNS that hosts my DNS. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'll pause the video and come back when I'm done. Alright. We're back. So go ahead and hit verify. And we get, there we go. It worked. So it took about, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes to get it into GoDaddy and I waited for it to, you know, uh, it took a little bit to propagate, but um, uh, so now I do that, hit uh, run test, and it's set up and going. So um, I can save my config, and it's uh, you know that easy to get set up. Um, now I'm going to jump over to another workstation, and we'll uh, just log into, um, or actually we'll just scroll up here and log into um, the single sign-on. Uh, website. So I went ahead and moved over to a different um, device because I wanted to uh, show you my desktop um, or my uh, I want to show you my desktop and my uh, mobile device for when I um, authenticate. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go up here back up to the top and over to our um, so I got my single sign on. You can see there's my AD configuration that we just did. So I hit Doc Central here, and I'm going to browse to my site. And here I am at the authentication prompt. So I type in my password. And there we are, two-factor authentication. So send a push. Accept that push that you can see here. Do my bio. And there it is. I'm out the site now. So um, that's it for this video. Um, we've got the uh, single sign-on site set up. And... Um, we're now going to start adding a couple of applications. We're going to work on adding Umbrella and uh, Meraki. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Um, but uh, for now, please like and subscribe. And then look for these uh, Umbrella and Meraki uh, single sign-on configuration videos coming out soon. Appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye.